Hey guys, what's up? JK with Porn Reboot here. And today, I'd like to talk to you about something which has been on my mind for a minute, and it's how to be a happy porn addict. Yes. So, guys, happiness is not, it's not something that you deserve or something that you have to earn, okay? Happiness is... It has nothing to do with your morals. There's nothing wrong with chasing your happiness. And I'm saying this because a lot of our brothers out there are struggling with depression while they are trying to quit porn. You know, happiness is a state of being. It's, it's a mental state which exists in the present. It's a mental attitude that you can learn. It can be practiced. I used to live my life on what I call a layaway plan, you know. I would say I'll be happy when I save dash amount of money or when I've achieved some milestone or when I've won some victory or completed some task. That was a terrible mistake. And once I had achieved that milestone, you know, another one invariably appeared. So to be happy, you must be happy. You cannot be happy because of a situation. Again, Happiness is a state of being. It's a mental state which exists in the present moment. So your habits and your self-esteem are kind of like partners that walk hand in hand. When you make changes in one, you automatically see corresponding changes in the other. You know, so if you look up the word habit, one of its older, more archaic definitions is a habit is like a loose garment, a long garment worn by, you know, a member of a religious organization, like monks wear habits. So your habits are clothing which are worn by your personality, all right? So you don't have them on by accident or as a result of some experience which is beyond your control. You have them because they fit you. And when you deliberately and consciously work on developing healthier and better habits, your self-image literally outgrows all those old unhealthy habits and then it grows into new ones. And it's really interesting to note that almost 100% of our responses, our feelings, our behaviors, all these things are products of habits. So like a boxer doesn't decide which part of an opponent he's going to strike. A pro football player doesn't decide which play to make. These are automatic reactions, right? No conscious thought involved. So similarly, when you watch a lot of pornography, you don't decide to open up a new tab and you know type in your porn site of choice. That is habitual reaction to a certain stimuli, you know? So what we've done is we've let resentment, we've let frustrations, we've let dissatisfactions, things that annoy us, affect us out of habits. And a lot of these reactions have been practiced for so long that they've become habits. You know, if somebody cuts you off in traffic, if someone goes back on their word to you, if somebody stands you up, if you get rejected by a woman, you relapse. You watch porn on the 89th day of a 90 day plan if you're counting days, that sort of thing. And then what you get after that, the anger, the self-pity, the resentment, the hopelessness, all of that, that is what is known as unhappiness. Okay, so realize that you are a master of your mental attitudes, not a slave. You know, I once had a client who I was coaching. He asked me, JK, you know, how the hell am I supposed to be happy, man? You know, I'm 33 years old. I've only had sex with one woman. I got divorced. I don't know if I can have sex with other women. I don't have the confidence. I've been addicted to porn since I was 11 years old. I'm a fuck up. And I informed him that, yeah, you know, it's a fact that he'd only had sex with only one woman. But it was also a fact that he had barely gone a day since he was 11 years old without watching pornography. But it was only his opinion that he was a fuck up. Does that make sense? See, I was a virgin till I was 21 years old. I was addicted to pornography for many years. I made a lot of shameful decisions which were based on my habits with pornography. Every woman I was attracted to, you know, they wanted me as a friend. 
media and society told me I had to be rich or ridiculously good looking or a certain race to date a certain caliber of women that I desired. And I spent countless nights in bars just working up the courage to even make eye contact with some women. You know, I tried to quit porn. I relapsed over and over again for years. These are facts. You know, some people thought that back then, you know, 11 years ago, that porn addiction was a myth. They would laugh at it. They still do. And that it was unhealthy or just downright impossible to have a life of abundance in terms of relationships with the opposite sex. But I beat my porn addiction. I did learn how to talk to women. You know, even the simple things I wanted when I was in my early 20s to bring a woman home with me from a bar at night or even during the day. I learned how to do those things. I learned how to build healthy relationships with the opposite sex. You know, I overcame my feelings of inadequacy and guilt related to women. You know, all these things were things that were, were encouraged by pornography. And I did all of this by reminding myself that all those impossibilities in my head were just opinions. Your beliefs, your emotions, your attitudes, all of those things are subject to your habits. You know, when you are much younger, one of the things you learn how to do was what you did was you made these connections between certain ways of thinking and feeling and certain situations. And those attitudes were considered appropriate to that situation. So here's an example from my life. So when I was a teenager, right? I would always break eye contact and try to end a conversation early, especially if I was speaking to an attractive woman, you know, because I was afraid of screwing up and revealing my attraction to her. And I felt embarrassed, I was shy, and maybe I was ashamed at the prospect of being caught. Years later, as an adult, I still had that tendency to think and feel and act in that same way when I was in a similar situation talking to an attractive woman. You know, as men, we need to understand that all our habits can be reversed, they can be modified, we can change them, but we have to make an effort to consciously decide to practice a new behavior, you know? So an MMA fighter can make a conscious decision to strike a different part of an opponent. A football player can consciously decide to learn a new play, you know? It's a painful procedure, but if you are focused, if you are alert, if you, if you really focus on it, the behavior will be mastered and your reticular activating system, RAS, look it up, will be activated. So by habit, every day, I give you an example, you either put your wallet or your phone in your left or your right pocket. You know, you wear your watch on your left or your right hand. So tomorrow morning, I challenge you to decide consciously which pocket that you're gonna put your wallet in. This is something I did when I was selling door to door to change some of my habits. So I would switch the hand I was wearing my watch from my left to my right. Actually, I didn't do that much often, but I would switch my wallet around. Okay. And try that for 30 days, simple habit development. All right. And then see what happens. Use that as an experiment to see how you can change your habits in a short amount of time. All right. That's my message for you guys today something that was on my mind. Brothers, I appreciate you. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm JK, your brother in this struggle. If you feel like you'd like to speak to me about your porn addiction, if you've been struggling for a while and you find that whatever you've been doing hasn't been working, maybe you've been trying to quit porn and you've had periods of time where you stayed off for three months or five months and after that you found yourself slipping again and that's really bothering you, and you are over the age of 25, then feel free to reach out to me. Visit elevatedrecovery.org slash apply and put in an application. And my team will set up an appointment and we'll have a chat. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to subscribe. And when you do, click on the bell icon so that you'll be notified anytime I release videos. Have a wonderful day.